Hey everybody, this is Rick. I'm going to be doing a uh, unboxing. I just uh, ordered my uh, Speed Cobra 910 double bass pedals from uh, Sweetwater, and uh, they just came in today. Uh, so this is going to be kind of an informal unboxing of these pedals. Um, <clears throat> The reason why I got these pedals was because, believe it or not, somebody ripped me off and stole my uh, DW9002 XF pedals, which I loved, um, and uh, they were like $700 when I got them um, about a year ago, but uh, somebody just stole them last weekend, so I needed to get some other pedals. Anyway, um, you know, Merry Christmas to them, <laughs> but... Uh, these pedals, I did a little research on them, and uh, you know they were, they're not as expensive as the DW9002 XF pedals, but they seem to be, um, they got a lot of great reviews, and they seem to be uh, pretty awesome and pretty fast pedals. They've, made, they've improved them, made them wider, uh, done a bunch of things to them. So I figured I'd check them out and um, give it a go. I've been drumming since I was 12 years old. I've been doing it my whole life and uh, unfortunately the guy that got my other pedals, he did, I guess he didn't realize I, that I do this for a living and I guess he needed them more than I needed them. Anyway, um, I got these from Sweetwater from uh, my sales rep is Chris Goblom. Um, real uh, very good sales rep. I highly recommend them and uh, they're always there, they back everything. All right, here it is, the Speed Cobra 910 Twin Pedal. Okay, uh, uh, video for a yeah, second, here's the box here. The box here. Um, they look pretty awesome. Uh, definitely look like they're worth the money. Um, again, it's the Speed Cobra 910 Twin Pedal. Yeah, that's kind of that's what they look like set up. Double chains. Uh, Accu Strike Cobra Beta. Uh, I guess the beaters, uh, they're making them uh, rubber now or something, so they last longer. Uh, swivel spring tight. That spring, that spring thing is not uh, stationary like the other ones, like most drum pedals. That kind of moves along with it, so I guess that helps it. Uh, to be a little faster pedal, little things like that. Uh, hinge guard block, not sure what that's for. Para clamp, uh, to clamp it down to your bass drum head. And it's got the, um, it's got the, uh, the type of clamp on it that doesn't mess up your drum hoop. Okay, got that spin around there. All right, that's cool. It's got a, like a hard shell case to it um, to store your drums. Now let me put this down for a second. All right, Tama Speed Cover. Hard shell, pretty nice. Nice quality. All right, all right. First opening. Wow, look at that. That looks totally awesome. I kind of like this uh, silver metallic look. That looks kind of cool. A little different. tag on there with the model number. Got a little diagram here to show you how to put your pedals away after you're done using them. Oh, this is cool. The, the beaters are already mounted to the main part. That's cool. You don't got to mess with that. Springs aren't attached, so you could attach those springs up there. Um, of course, I can't do it with one hand, so I'll have to show you to do that later. Instruction manual. And the 
secondary speed cover. They look really nice. Really nice pedals. Like it's like a it's like a rubber rubber thing. I guess rubber silicone or something. And of course, everything's fully adjustable to how you like it. Got all sorts of adjustments everywhere. You know that'll link up there. That'll go over there. And then of course. Crossbar will connect the two like so. Anyway, I'm gonna use these tonight. I got a show tonight over in Largo, Florida, at a club called Wild Willies, and um, I'm uh, guessing they're gonna kick butt. I like this. This board looks really long. <laughs> I like that. Um, I guess that's uh, better for you guys that like to do the uh, heel toe uh, type of action on the uh, on the kick pedals i haven't mastered that yet but uh, i'm working on it got a little key here a little, a little tool uh it says tom on it it's got the allen keys and everything and uh that's it oh let's look at the bottom here and let's get the standard this is kind of like a rubber feel there and on the back also and it looks like it's got some type of spring oh that's cool it's got like a spring thing in there i guess to help you kick back at you faster or something rolling glide You can adjust that, it looks like. H and S, I'm not sure what that stands for. All right, pretty cool, man. I'm going to check these babies out tonight, and uh, I hope this helped anybody out there who's considering these pedals. Okay, now that Thank I got these there. together, a couple of things I didn't, I wanted to mention, I didn't get a chance to. These little, these part, this part here, real easy just comes right off just like that and um you know to put it on this is like a really smooth like bearing uh type the doohickey and it's inside really smooth also so i guess that has like a bearing edge but it's really very very easy to put it together that just slides right over that and that's it locks into place <coughs> you can see how this <coughs> excuse me this part here kind of swivels I guess that helps it to uh, to give it better action, more you know, more reliable control. You know, I think that's pretty cool. Um, the front part here, this is like a rubberized, soft material, uh, both sides here, so it won't damage your drum hoop. You know, get it all scratched up and marked up. Um, <clears throat> another thing I thought was pretty cool was. Uh, this part here uh these things on every pedal i've always had these always came apart completely out and you know you take a chance you can lose them or whatever uh, these have like some type of lock so that's all they go they won't come out and and you don't got to worry about losing them you could see there's something in there to block it so i think that's that's pretty cool you can see that thing right inside there and i'm on both sides uh, you don't got to worry about losing those guys, you know. Uh, it's just Tama right there, pretty cool. And um, you can see there's all sorts of little adjustments here you can make to put it where you want, mark it. It's got little gauges, um, which I think is cool. Not sure about that one in there yet. Um, that's it. You adjust your spring tensioners here like normal. Like any other pedal, wouldn't it's fairly very very easy. Um, and that's it. All right, 
just wanted to let you guys know about that. I think I thought those were some pretty cool features. Talk to you later.